hi guys welcome back to the channel so today is a journaling video so we've got a little journal and as promised we're going to put our tag in here now i have designed a little yeah uh, you can print it out and cut round or i have done a cut file as well on the cricket what i'll do is i'll link the svg so you can use it on silhouette as well if possible so i've cut mine so basically what it is is it's the tags and the envelope for the tag to go in so it's linked down uh if you follow the link down below to i think i'm going to put it on my website you can access the printable and the cut file if you want to do it on one of your electronic cutting machines or you can just print it out and cut it out it's quite easy enough to do it's not like it needs to be perfect because it's all going to get folded up anyway so this is what it looks like so you'll get a tag obviously i already have the tag but if you were to start this anew you would have a tag and you have an envelope which looks a bit like this so once these are out like this and you get two tags in it because I, I could fit two in and then you get these little things here which i haven't actually tried out yet but i'm going to try out putting some eyelets in and making like a little loopy thing i'm not sure if that's going to work but we can try it so we don't need the tag because we've got our tag we've got our little loopy things actually what it might be worth doing is cutting a few of these and and layering them up and sticking them together because they might need to be a little bit thicker than what they are but we'll give it a try so first of all let's fold this up so it's really simple if you cut it out from the principle then you'll have to make your own score lines but they are marked on there you can just fold it so it goes like that that's the bottom of it and this is the top of it and it's basically a little so you glue it here and here and it's basically a little envelope but if you're wanting to do the eyelet things i have this cropper dial tool you could always just put hole reinforcers on it like what we made in the video and put hole reinforcers on it and then just tie some string through which i don't know whether i'm better doing to be honest let's have a look it's the eyelets i've got i don't know if they're the right color so what i do is i put this on first then put the eyelet on then set it but you can see they're actually really not big enough to do that are they they're quite they look it looks quite nice i don't know i don't know whether to do that or whether to i suppose i do have gold on my tag because i've got my paper clip so this might look quite nice but yeah you could also do like a whole reinforcer yeah so i'll just show you how to do this so you'll need an eyelet setter if you want it to do this way I've got the cropper dial here and you basically just put it in like that and set it yeah so I'd need to do these a little bit bigger I think if I was to have it so it's like a loopy loopy one if you, if you don't know what I mean by loopy loopy one I basically mean, let me see if I've got an example of something. I basically mean something like this. So where you've got two little things and then you put a string around it. We might be able to do that. But you don't have to get that fancy. But that's what I meant by that. I don't know the, the technical term for that. So let's do this one as well. Okay, so there's your envelopes, quite cute like that. Of course, you don't have to go to that much detail. It'd still be cute, just a little envelope. So let's glue it. So I'd advise putting glue on this bit because if you put it on this bit and you get it out of where it's going to be glued, it's going to show. Thank you. 
there we go and then you can either put some string through or i don't think string's gonna go around that bit but thread might i've just thought because that other one had thread on it maybe thread might work um i'm just gonna use a bit of string you know i think it'll look cute just tied up like that might just have to be tied on like that So the tag's like that and we can slot it in there and then you could actually tie this if you wanted i mean you might want to keep it open yeah that's quite cute isn't it and then you can just maybe oh i don't know tie it however you want I don't want it to be too difficult to get the tag out because the whole point is that you aren't going to want to be getting the tag out. Do you know, I actually almost like it like that. So without the top bit and then you can just pull this out. But I do quite like this. If we leave that as it is, I might actually just keep it like that let's get the page out and have a look anyway that's the basics of the envelope i'm not an expert envelope maker so sorry that it's not perfect but hopefully you'll get a little bit of inspiration from that freebie and hopefully you'll print it out and use it in your own journal you see i do like it like that but anyway let's let's get into the journal and see what it looks like
so that's the finished spread and i'm not sure if i like it or not it's one of them things sometimes i don't like things straight away when i've been working on them so it might be that i come back later and i like it i like this page and i like this page but i don't know if the two go together so yeah but that's just the way it is it doesn't really matter like i said before this journal is just for me and it's just about expressing myself in this kind of vintagey style so yeah I, I, the drawing isn't amazing but i just wanted to, i wanted to do something a little bit creative and do some drawing so i did a fairly simplish plainish background added some texture and then just drew over the top and the tea bag was quite hard to draw on top of with a pen so just be careful if you do a similar thing the pen kind of died on me but i've got loads of them so it doesn't really matter but yeah i really like this pocket and, I'm, and I cut, as you saw, I cut the top off here and stuck it on the side as like a tab. So when we come to do this page, I'll just cover that up. It doesn't really look very nice on that side. But I feel like when the journal's shut, it kind of it's adding to the nice kind of eclecticness of it. And as we get towards the back, I'll add another one somewhere down there. So yeah, it's, it's just fun. And I hope this has inspired you to create something as well. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe because uh, this is a running series. So if you want to see more, there will be more. I'm going to fill this up. It's not, I mean, we're not far off the middle now. So yeah. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below if you want to know about anything, any of the products I use. I will link as much as I can down below. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon. Bye.